Hello friends, welcome back to the new video from A to Z Biology. Today we will discuss about one of the most important topics from CSR net that is ABC model of floral development. As I told you, this is the one of the most important topics from CSR net. If you learn something from this video, I will personally guarantee you that you will get 4 to 6 mark in CSR net examination. ABC model of floral development firstly formulated by George Hung and Chris Somerville in 1988. The experimental material was Arabidopsis thaliana. This is the picture of Arabidopsis thaliana. ABC model of floral development explains the genetics behind formation of different walls in the flower. The four walls are sepals, petals, stamens, and carpels. Stamens is a male reproductive organ and carpel is a female reproductive organ which is composed of style, stigma and ovary. Next is floral development. As we know that flower is a modified shoot which is modified from vegetative male stem. ABC model says that the four walls are controlled by three genes that is A, B and C gene. These three genes are responsible for conversion of vegetative shoot to floral meristem. Now moving into the detail of ABC model of floral development, wherein might two main points come understanding ABC model of floral development. Point one is A and C genes are equally dominant and one become more active in the absence of other. For example, A gene become more active in the absence of C gene and C gene become more active in the absence of A gene. Second point is B gene are always expressed in association with A and C gene. It simply means B gene always expects itself with association with A gene and C gene. Now this is the normal condition or by type, in normal condition, A gene is responsible for formation of sepals. A plus B gene together responsible for formation of petals. B plus C gene responsible for formation of stamen and C gene alone responsible for formation of carpels. A gene will form sepals. A plus B gene will form petals. B plus C gene will form stamens and C gene alone will form carpels. You can remember this in a sequence also like A, A plus B, B plus C and C. On other hand, sepals, petals, stamens and carpels. So this is about wild type or normal condition. Now we will see what happen if mutation occur in a different gene. First case is mutation occur in a A gene. If A gene is mutated, C gene become more active and function of A gene is taken up by C gene. As a result of this, let's see what kind of walls are formed in the flower. First wall should be carpels because it's C gene alone. Here in first walls, C gene alone will produce carpels. In second wall, stamen should produce because it's B plus C gene and rest are same as normal condition. Next is mutation in a B gene. If B gene is mutated, A gene and C gene become more active and more dominant. These two genes will make all four walls of the flower. Two will make sepals and two will make carpels. Flower having mutated B gene don't have petals and stamen in the flower. Now next is mutation in a C gene. If C gene is mutated, A gene become more active and more dominant. The function of C gene is taken up by A gene. As a result of this, let's see what kind of walls are formed in the flower. In first and outer walls, A gene will form sepals. In second walls, A plus B gene will form petals. 
in third valve c d2 c gene is absent and a gene replaces c gene that's why a plus b gene will form again petals and a gene alone will form sepals so flower having mutated c gene will don't have stamens and carpels so this is the summary of abc model of floral development thank you so much for watching thank you so much for support please and don't forget to subscribe